Hi, my name is Addison Sears Collins, and this is my lab one for the Morse code LED uh, system. And this is for the uh, class 605.715, section 81 of spring 2019. And this is a section of uh, software development uh, for real time uh, embedded systems. And I'm going to show you what I perform for this uh, LED project. So you can see right here we have the Arduino sketch, uh, which I developed. And I'm going to open up the serial monitor so we can begin to run our Morse code LED program. You can see a friendly welcome message here. It says Morse code LED program. This program translates your message into Morse code and flashes it on an LED have the author name, which is me, Addison Sears Collins. You can see uh, prompt to enter your message or messages, or you can press exclamation to exit. So let's get started. Let's type in hello world, which is one of the main requirements of the program. I'm going to type in hello world, and let's see what happens. I'm going to type that in, and then let's click send. And you can see over here our text is coming down here. Hello world. And in the meantime, concurrently, our LED is blinking. One character at a time. And now we're done. And now I'm going to type that in again. And you'll watch the LED blink. So let's type that in again. Hello world. And I'm going to click send. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's try one more message. I'm going to type in here the famous message SOS, save our ship. You are going to see SOS is going to be S, which is three dots, dot, dot, dot. And then the O, which is dash, dash, dash. And then you're going to see uh, three dots for the last S. So I'm going to type that in. So it's SOS and we're going to click send. See S. O S. Okay, and let's type that again so we can see that on the LED breadboard system with our two wires as well as our 330 ohm resistor connected to pin 12 of the microcontroller. Press send. All right, so Going to the requirements of this particular project, uh, it must execute on an Arduino. You can see our Arduino sketch over here. I'm going to X this out, this serial monitor, so you can see that. All right. The Arduino version used was version 1.8.8. You saw that the uh, program displayed a user type string, uh, hello world, it showed, and it showed it as Morse code on an LED. Uh, and just some of the rules that were followed in this program, which is embedded in the code here. Uh, a dash is three times as long as a dot. The time between each dot or dash uh, in the same letter is equal to the duration of one dot. The time between two letters is the duration of one dash. And the time between two words is the same duration as seven dots. And another requirement you can see... Uh, right I'm going to scroll down here see our while loop it says well not done this is the uh, loop this is, so we are required to do a round robin design uh, with the loop whereas this loop waits for a string displays the string in morse code and exits the loop only if a sentinel is entered so i'll just walk through the code briefly and explain each section so up here up top we have our led pin pin 12 which is our output uh, we, I have set up here an array uh, named letters that holds addresses uh, of string literals. So you can see down here are two arrays uh, for the letters as well as the numbers. 
Um, so this is A through Z in Morse code, and here 0 through 9 in Morse code. Then below here, we have our dot duration. So dot duration is 200. And we have our Boolean done, uh, false. This is for use with the Sentinel. Then we have our setup here, where we set up this LED pin. Uh, and then I have my 9600, which is the default baud rate. I have my uh, friendly welcome message here, which you saw when I clicked the serial monitor. And here's our loop. So this loop, it waits for a string, displays it in Morse code, and only exits the loop if the sentinel is entered. So you say, while not done, serial available. This checks to see if there are any letters or numbers available in the buffer to be read. Uh, then we assign each character one at a time to this variable called ch. We need to read ch character to see what it is. Is it a letter? Is it an uppercase letter? Is it a lowercase letter? Is it a number? Is it a space? Maybe it's not a space. Maybe it's actually an exclamation point. In that case, if it's an exclamation point, that's the sentinel value. We set done equal to true. Print out a message that says, thank you. Your message was sent successfully. And then we, we go back up to the loop. You can see the condition fails. We pop out of the loop. And we jump right into this infinite loop while true. So this is one of the requirements that was satisfied there. And just to make the code a little modular, uh, for the actual flashing of the Morse code uh, up here in the loop, I split that out into separate codes. So you can see this function does that. It flashes the Morse code. But I wouldn't even further than that for each sequence of Morse code. So we have sequence of Morse's Morse codes up here, which we declared in the beginning. Uh, I did separate uh, function for the actual dots and dashes. So a dot is when the LED pin is high, remains there for 200 count, and then it goes low for 200 count. Or you have a dash uh, right here, which is three times the length of a dot. So it goes up 200 times three, it's 600, holds that high, and then it goes down, and holds that uh, for low. So that's how that works there um, for the the dots and dashes and that is the program uh, thanks a lot for listening and appreciate it thank you